Hey y'all, it's Diver Below, aka Roy. Actually, no, it is Roy. But um, anyways, I have my '93 Nissan uh, hard body D21, and I've been getting the timing chain uh, rattle on startup. And it started off as just like maybe one or two seconds it would rattle, and then here lately it's just been like 10 seconds up to 20 seconds sometimes you know and then it'll finally go away and on the inside of the vehicle the oil light would stay on until the rattle goes away then the oil light will go off that's because there's a spring that is down there on this uh, on passenger side of the chain that has a tensioner on there that pushes out a piston up against that tensioner onto the chain well that springs not long enough so there's a guy on YouTube uh, his name is James Martin I'll uh, put a link in the description who uh, invented a spacer that way you don't have to take apart the whole entire timing chain to fix you know replace the timing chain everything like that especially when everything's still good anyways he invented these spacers that you can put down inside that piston in there to pick up the slack. And let's see. You see that? That's your time of chain rattle. Look at all that. That's the slack. So, anyways, basically, you got to get the slack to where it's gone over here, and then you'll see the piston, and then that's the amount of slack that you have on the chain that you have to get rid of. So, I purchased that space here. And I'm going to put that on there, but I want you guys to notice something. This is called your timing chain guide down here. Let's see if you can see it. See down there? That's your timing chain guide. See that metal piece that the chain's sitting on? There's supposed to be a plastic piece on there. Well, that plastic piece is totally gone, which means it's broken up. And it's hanging out down inside the bottom of my oil pan. You guys see that? This is what it looks like. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is the brand new piece. Right here. So, this plastic piece is totally gone, broken, down inside my oil pan. Now, I ordered another one from uh, Napa. And you can actually take this plastic piece off. Instead of having to take the whole entire front of the motor off. And put it back on there. You talk about saving yourself some time and a shit ton of money too. So this plastic piece does come off. I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But anyways, the plastic piece does come off, and luckily, it sits down on top like that instead of this going underneath. Now either way, I have to remove my oil pan to get the plastic junk out of there, and I'm going to do a full oil change too. But I'll show you guys what this will look like after I get done. But anyways, this sits down in there like that. So, two bolts. That means I'd have to take the whole tire front part of the motor off. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well do a full time and chain service anyways. But everything looks good. There's no cracks or anything like that in the chain. I got everything lined up the way it's supposed to. So, take this plastic piece off, put it in there, put the spacer on there. Put the valve cover back on, drop my oil, drop my pan, put everything back together, and fire her up. Alright guys, later.